Hey, y'all, welcome back to the BR Pajama Party. We don't have to talk about it. We don't have to talk about it. Uh, today, we're going to react via a kind suggestion to Kill Tony Best Minutes, Volume 1. Let's see what happens. Uh, so I saw this documentary about a couple that smoked meth for the first time. They smoked meth, got really high, and then ran out of their car in negative 20 degree weather and then froze to death. Real tragic shit. And the lesson I took from that was this. Meth is a summer drug. <laughs> I saw this other documentary about this Why guy so who shot up an Amish school full of kids. <sighs> yeah. The only glimpse of modern technology those kids got. <laughs> How is it that we've talked about the Amish twice this week on this channel? Okay. I don't know why I didn't see the meth joke coming. Like it ran at me so fast. I didn't have time to, to, to catch it, girl. Oh, I'm going to be in pain by the time this is over, huh? My, my stomach's going to hurt. My cheeks are going to be quivering. This is, I'm already, I'm, I'm, and this feels like the, the, they're on a folded card table. So this feels like this was the beginning of the Kill Tony journey. Oh, Lord, let, let us pray. And let me have some water. Hold on. Jesus, Lord. <laughs> were bullets whizzing to their tiny bearded faces. <laughs> you wanna know what the real tragedy about the Amherst school shooting is? You can't scrub blood out of unfinished wood floors. <laughs> That's my thought, thank you. Wow! That was a wow. great minute set. I think we're learning something about New York real quick. Uh, I don't work here. It's laundry day. Okay. <laughs> I'm trying to get a job. I just got fired in uh, 2007 and I feel like everywhere I go. So no. Anyway, uh, I don't have any money, man. I moved down here like four months ago and I hate everyone from L.A. Because when I first moved down here, none of y'all warned me about a spot called uh, Watts. Y'all don't say anything. Super dangerous over there. You get shot. I didn't know it was dangerous. I was looking for apartments online. Watts was in my price range, right? I was like, $40 a month? I could do that. That's not, that's not a bad deal for a seven-bedroom. And uh, Your bad, roommates are roaches. Bad idea. It's a lot Your of thugs are gangsters, okay? I'm not a gangster, okay? I tried to be. I just can't be one because I'm ticklish. Okay, you can't. <laughs> and I love kitties. You can't be a gangster and love I love kitties, okay? Kitties? Think I'm joking. Kitty cats? I'm not joking at all. My mom, my mom brought like three kittens to my house the other day because her house and I live with her. And uh, I was <laughs> I was flipping out. I was like, kitties! It's so cute. I hugged it. I was like, I'm going to love you forever. Cute kitty. And I was like, oh, okay. oh. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. That was the plan. Preacher right? Lawson. <laughs> I don't think he was that funny. I feel like there was a bit of Kevin Hart in there, especially at the end. He's like, I hugged the kitty. I only laughed at the fact that he said, I, I, my mom came to my house the other day because it was her house. He felt aggressively non-funny. But he's in the best compilation, so who am I to judge? He's there, not me. That was the plan. Preacher Lawson. I gained, uh, I gained 75 pounds after I got sober. Uh, I used to shoot heroin. Now it just looks like I'm smuggling it. <laughs> There's still a bunch of dirty spoons on the floor of my car, but now they're just covered in pudding. <laughs> the timing is awkward. jail time. I spent uh, six months in jail back in 2014. First question people always ask me when I tell them that is, uh, oh, did you get raped in there? Uh, which is ridiculous. It was always consensual. <laughs> but, um, <laughs> Jail's not that bad. You actually just hang out all day. You can watch TV. It's oh. like having a shitty regular life. <laughs> <laughs> Tony's not laughing. I had a job. I used to work in the kitchen. Uh, I used to make pancakes. I used to make 2,000 pancakes a day. And uh, one day I was walking them through the hallway, and you know, I got this giant rack of 2,000 oh, pancakes. pancakes. And I take a corner, and it starts to fall. And I'm like, oh, my God. I'm going to drop these pancakes all over the floor, and I'm just going to look like a big klutz in front of the whole jail. You know? <laughs> Everybody's just going to think I'm a goof. you got to look tough in there. So last minute, right when they're about to leave my hand, I just went to, yo, fuck these pancakes! <laughs> <laughs> Boom. Okay. Dude. Wow. That's how you do it. That's how right. you do it. He cleaned it up. He cleaned it up.
I take the bus a lot. Uh, I keep seeing this ad on the bus. It's an ad for an app like Grubhub. It says, uh, you'd use an app to find a date, but not an app to find a sandwich? Explain. First of all, I don't have to explain myself to you. You're an ad on a bus. I'm a grown man. I don't have to explain myself to anybody but my parents because I live with them. <laughs> Secondly, it's very simple. I can eat any sandwich I want. I can look at a sandwich and be like, yeah, I'll have that sandwich. And then I get to eat that sandwich. It's not like there's a very limited number of sandwiches willing to be eaten by me <laughs> that I have to use the internet to find. That's the difference between sandwiches and dating, you guys. I've never ordered a sandwich and been like, hey, this cheesesteak knows you live with your parents. It's going to pass. Maybe aim a little lower, go for a bologna sandwich. Ooh, yum. I've also never ordered a sandwich that's been like, surprise, this sandwich has kids. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't list them on the menu, but now you got to eat the kids. Oh, my God. Thunder and lightning. Who was the judge of this being the best of the, the minutes? I'd like to have a conversation with you. If this is the best, mm, bar's pretty low. I'm just saying. I, I was crying at the first one, like out the gate. So I, this, my, the bar was set kind of high. You should have started low and, and built me up. Don't build me up to bring me down. I'm just saying, I want to be in stitches and I'm not. I'm in pajamas, folks, okay? So I need it. Who are you? Hello. You guys ever wish for something so hard that your stepdad dies? <laughs> I understand. <laughs> I've had two of them, and I understand. <laughs> oh, Lord, I'm turning the volume down. Let me not do your that. Your stepdad dies? <laughs> if so, let me know what it was. When I was young, my uncle used to tell me, you know, that if you shake it more than twice, you're just playing with it. But if he were right about that, I don't think they'd have taken my baby away. Dark. Dark. I'm just kidding. I've still got him. I've still got him. Grew up poor, guys. When I was young, all I wanted to do was be good at basketball, but I could get us out of that poverty. Seems like every time, though, I'd go to take a shot, somebody jump up and block it. And somebody scream, shack attack. We don't have to run down the hill and defend our shacks. <laughs> These are so corny, but I love them. I Let me love tell you, them. He can't run his own defense against the hill people, guys. It's got to be man to man. Fuck time, yeah. Guys. That's ben my time. Sawyer. Holy shit. It's I didn't happening. get that last one, sorry. Ben Sawyer. I love him. Oh shit, it's about to motherfucking go down. Put your hands together for Kyle Long, everybody. Oh. The cat's in the cradle and the... You wanna know how I know? I reacted to it and then I added it to my son's playlist and I listen to it almost daily. Love it. Cats in the cradle and silver spoon And the little boy jumped in the man on the moon I'm still working on the lyrics It's playing in the background, listen Put your hands together for Kyle Long, everybody Oh, oh shit. Good time, Dan <laughs> I'm not drunk Uh-oh uh -oh. <laughs> 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 the saxophone this is, is some losing. This is the funniest stand-up I've ever seen. <laughs> it's amazing. It's amazing how alcohol doesn't affect some people. So I did mushrooms today. It's fucking cool. How old is this so show? So anyway, it's Blockbuster. Or do, do you... <laughs> He's not well. He's definitely on the show. He's not well. He's not well. He's not well. Yeah, he's like, I'm moving. Do you remember that shit? Blockbuster! What the fuck? Netflix! <laughs> Netflix is better than Blockbuster, right? Absolutely not. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> fuck 
blockbuster! You can suck my dick! Kyle, oh, oh, I'm not that's done! Minute. That's a minute. Kyle, Kyle, Kyle. I cut my girlfriend's cocaine with Valtrex because we have herpes and she doesn't need to know about it just yet. Valtrex <laughs> because... Minute, Kyle, Kyle, Kyle. What did he just say? I cut my girlfriend's cocaine with Valtrex because we have herpes and she doesn't need to know about it just yet. Jail, jail, jail. Call the police, call the police, call the police, call the police. Call the authorities. Are you kidding me? There was 10 things wrong with what he just said. I cut my girlfriend's booger sugar with Valtrex. We have the herp. She don't know it yet. Gee, look. Cut my girlfriend's cocaine with Valtrex because we have herpes and she doesn't need to know about it just yet. <laughs> What? Thank you. <laughs> it's a good idea. When I was a kid, my mom would drive me to school every day, which was very nice of her. Uh, the only thing I had against that was uh, I never got to see the inside of a public school bus. So I didn't know what that was all about. Uh, Miss nothing. I knew what the short buses were for, but that just made me terrified that the regular buses were for giant retarded people. <laughs> What is this random saxophone player? Where's the rest of the band? People have told me I have a golden penis. It's not because of my sexual prowess. It's because my Uncle Midas was a very bad man. <laughs> is the kitty cat the timer? He's funny. I like his very wicked dark humor. He's funny, he's funny. That was the Midas touch. Good Thank job. You. Listen to that. Gabe Bravo. Right? I'm so skinny when I fart, it smells like bones. Boof? Huh? Huh? <laughs> the things that Tony yes, laughs at. I'm about my hair, but they're stuck in my head. <laughs> Boo? Huh? Huh? What Besides, is they've that? only got me this far. <laughs> Anybody here with their soulmate tonight? I don't believe in soulmates. Because I had a girl rip my heart out. So now we're a soul patch. Boo. Huh? <laughs> Why did they find this so hysterical? I'm concerned. <laughs> Thank you. There you go, Mikey McCurney. He just waited for, for the one. Batting a thousand percent. He just sat there and waited for the meow. I just wanted meow. to watch you. I didn't even want to, like, I would, wouldn't you like to watch him for, like, another... I uh, dropped my phone mm -hmm. in the toilet the other day. No, I'm good. Luckily, it landed right on top of my career. <laughs> a little self-deprecating humor. I live with my uh, girlfriend in a super tiny apartment. My office is a blanket I throw over my head. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how I got a girlfriend. I don't have any game. I never had any game. I was so uh, terrified about taking a girl's bra off for the first time that I saved up money for six months and I bought a mannequin. And every day I would come home from school and run into my room, I'd put a bra on that mannequin and I would practice saying, yeah, you do it. I feel like I'm inside the intrusive thoughts of men and I want out. Like I just, I don't wanna be here. <laughs> Oh, man, this is what you guys talk about and think about all day long. I want no parts, no parts, no parts. <laughs> wow, Josh Branham, ladies and gentlemen.
That was I, painful. Uh, I watched gay porn for the first time recently. Um, I don't thoughts. really want to, but all my friends are these like college bros. So they're like super jacked, super intimidating, but also really woke dudes. So they kind of like bullied me into it. You know, they were like, come on, dude. You never watched gay porn before? And I was like, no. And they were like, come on, man. You never even looked at it. You never even clicked on it. What are you like? Homophobic? <laughs> I was like, all right, first of all, no. Second of all, that seems like a weird way to support a group of people. I don't... <laughs> like, could you imagine if someone came up to you at a party just like, hey, man, I heard you don't care about Syrian refugees. It's like, whoa, whoa, whoa. I think it's important they come to this country in their time of need. It's like, yeah? Well, are you watching them fuck? It's like, what? <laughs> what? It's like, hey, man, I heard you're some kind of capitalist piece of shit, and you don't care about small businesses. It's like, whoa, whoa, whoa. I think it's an important way to grow the local economy. It's like, yeah? Why don't you jerk off my Etsy page then, dude? What's up? <laughs> wow. What I liked about him the most is that he had on Sacconis, and it's just so nostalgic for me. In the eighth grade, I had a pair of baby blue suede Sacconis, and you could tell me absolutely nothing flyest thing walking okay with my baby blue shirt that said baby girl on it girl spelled with a u not an i thug life right. yeah. oh he's right. back uh, he's I back didn't get off work i don't work here at all i'm I just laundry day <laughs> like, uh, i used to work here i'm trying to look for a job i just got fired in 2007 and again I feel like everywhere <laughs> Can we skip no, him? Are y'all okay if I skip him? the women telling them my dad left, you know, like, oh, how okay. like, why do people got to be so negative? Tell me a story about how the friends crashed on a motorcycle. <laughs> like, why do people got to be so negative? I don't go with the pregnant women telling them my dad left, you know, like, how let you live your life? I know it's dangerous, okay? I was walking my, my walking down my apartment complex one time. My neighbor walked up to me. She was like, oh, my God, you got a motorcycle? Are you serious? Are you sir? You better be careful. I got in a car sir? wreck the other day. My car flipped eight times. I'm looking to be alive. Blessed. Blessed. <laughs> and uh, she black, by the way. And uh, <laughs> I, was, I was like, your car flipped eight times? She's like, it showed it. It flipped eight times, and I'm looking to be alive. Blessed. Blessed. <laughs> And I was like, who counted, right? Like, who? <laughs> who was that calm when the car was flipping? Ah! One! Like, who's, who's doing that? Funnier I this got time. Bag. You see these lips? All right, I'm done. Thank Boom, you so preacher Lawson. Wow. Better the second time. Still very aggressive. <laughs> Tone it down. So I'm a, uh, I'm a recovering heroin addict. Uh, I'm uh, 15 months. So the last two are just circling the block with the same bit to begin with okay let's clean this over now the uh, spoons oh, cool, thanks. <laughs> no, thank you saturdays are my cheat day uh, that was uh, funny people are always like how'd you do that man i can never do heroin I, I hate needles and i'm like that's because the needles you've been using aren't filled with sweet delicious heroin <laughs> if that were the case we'd all be getting vaccinated until we had severe autism <laughs> I never had to suck a dick for heroin, though. The guys I got it from just wanted money. <laughs> I was lucky. <laughs> I probably would have sucked a dick, though. Not even just because heroin's that good, but is sucking a dick really that bad? <laughs> oh! A lot of people sucking dicks out there. Clap, clap your hands if you ever sucked, sucked that. No, no, never mind. Don't, don't die. <laughs> they were ready. Uh, there's worse things that you could do than sucking a dick. Uh, I mean, uh, morally speaking, uh, sucking a dick's still better than cooking crystal meth. Uh, but it would have been interesting if that was the direction they chose to take Breaking Bad. <laughs> What's happening? I'm doing this for my family! <laughs> Fuck yeah, Thank Dan you. Nolan. Thank you. It gets so awkward sometimes. It's like the, the pauses. All right. I... I... I'm going to see you guys next time. <laughs> go, go and have the day you deserve, friends. Bye.